We continue now our discussion with state senators Jason Pizzo, a Democrat, and Manny Diaz, a Republican. And when we left off, uh, Senator Pizzo was talking about a bill that he's got that would allow police to intercede if they see juveniles on Facebook posting pictures of themselves with illegal firearms, with firearms in general, if they're 15 years old. Uh, just before I move on to education, I just want to get your thoughts on that bill. Would you be supportive of something like that? Yeah, I think we have to always have to be very careful of those things, but I think Senator Pizzo has a very valid point. This is where we're seeing the violence in Miami-Dade County. And if you're already possessing a handgun illegally, because it's against the law to have possess one at that age, and now you're flaunting it on social media, I think that we do have to have some recourse for uh, law enforcement to intervene. All right, I want to turn to uh, education. You, chair, as you mentioned earlier, you are the chair of the Senate Education Committee in that position. Obviously, you have a great deal of power over what happens with education. The governor has proposed a teacher salary increase from 47500 which ranks us about 26 in the country. Um, to, oh, actually, I'm sorry, to, to about, uh, they would raise it to about that, um, which would move us to second in the country from 26 right now. Uh, are you supportive of raising teacher salaries across the state? I am, and I, and, I, and I support the governor in concept. What I think the, the devil, again, is in the details. Well, I how think do you we, pay for it? We ha number one, how do you pay for it? But number two, we have some issues with, the, with salary compression. And when I say that is, what, you, what happens to the other teachers that, are, that have already been there and are doing a great job, and, and all of a sudden you raise somebody coming in to within $500? Second issue is here in Miami-Dade or in all metropolitan counties, Someone in Calhoun County or Liberty County may be making right now $33,000, and all of a sudden they're going to jump to 47.5. And in Miami-Dade County, so, so they're going to get a $14,000, $15,000 bump. And in Miami-Dade County, we may be getting a $5,000 bump for those teachers. So I think, I think that what the governor laid out is a marker and said, this is what I'm interested in, this is the concept. He's, he's really leaving it up to the legislature to figure out the details. And it's a difficult task, Jim, because we have an issue with evaluation, and we've always struggled with that. And so we have to figure out how to get there. And then the other part is, how do we pay for well, the other question, too, which is somewhat related to it, is the district cost differential, which Miami-Dade has often struggled under. There used to be a system where expensive, where counties that are more expensive for the cost of living received a little bit more in funding from the state than counties where the cost of living was lower. That was gotten rid of when Marco Rubio was Speaker of the House many years ago. I know Speaker Oliva has talked about wanting to bring that back. Uh, Jason, I'm curious, do you think that the district cost differential will finally return and that we'll have, see some better compensation for counties that are higher cost of living? Jim, uh, Senator Diaz and I agree probably about 80, 85 percent of stuff. We both you know, love our family, respect the, the community and, and things that need to be done. On this, we are lucky that Senator Diaz is from Miami-Dade County and is the education chair and also sits on appropriations education. Um, it, it should. Just last year, we also we raised uh, prosecutor salaries uh, starting at $50,000, which is okay for Miami-Dade, but again, you're in Liberty, you're in Calhoun. Uh, it, it should, and, and I, I trust that Senator Diaz will uh, stay with the commitment to, to represent and reflect what's necessary here in Miami-Dade County. Again, it's just an interesting situation for Senator Diaz because he agrees conceptually with what the governor is trying to do. I don't know that he necessarily agrees with the number that it reflects what, what's absolutely necessary in Miami-Dade. So on this particular point as it re relates to teachers, I, I look for Senator Diaz to help us. I want to I want to sort of broaden the discussion out a little bit, but one of the things that you talked about a second ago was evaluating teachers. I'm curious, Miami-Dade County, what do you think of the job that Superintendent Alberto Carvalho has done? No, I think, you know, the proof is in the pudding. He's done a great job. The results show it. Uh, but there's always room for improvement within certain sectors of the district. For in this case, you, if, you, if you talk to the teachers, I'm sure they're going to tell you that they need to be getting, they should be getting paid more. Uh, if you talk to other employees, they probably should be getting paid more. So I think there's always room for growth. I think overall, it's an A district. Uh, he's embraced choice. I think it's, it's I think they were just named job. the number, uh, their fourth grader is ranked number one in math and reading scores across the entire country. Yeah, it's hard to argue with results, and it's hard to argue with the fact that he's also created a, a, an opportunity for choice within the public schools, which is another thing uh, that I am uh, a big proponent so of. So you're not so. opposed to him? No, I'm not Because there's a theory out there that, that you oppose him, you oppose the teachers' union, that you're trying to undermine them somehow. Is there any truth to that? I, I think that that just comes with the nature of the job, Jim. When, when, you're, when, you're, when you're doing this job and you're put in the position of either being appropriations chair, like I was in the House, or being in, uh, in the policy chair in the Senate, you're going to take positions that are oftentimes not, not aligned with some of the superintendents, not only him, but others, or with the board, or in some cases with the teachers' union. But that's, that's just the tip of the iceberg. What about the rest of the stuff that I am trying to do, improve professional development, improve salaries, 
we may not always agree on how to get there, but I think we're all trying to improve the system. So I think that a lot of that is overplayed. I do want to ask, I apologize, Jason, I do want to follow up with one question. The, let's go to higher ed for a second. Miami-Dade College, you know, there's a bill that I think you've recently right. introduced, which would take what has been a very open and public process in selecting the, the replacement to Eduardo Padron and turning it into a more private process. Can you explain why you want to take this out of the sunshine? Well, number one, that bill, that would not affect Miami Dade search because Miami Dade search is always going, it's already going on. So this bill would have to go through the process and wouldn't be active until next July, which Miami Dade would have already have a new president. We have had over half of our universities or state universities in Florida, Jim, have turnover in the presidency. You know how many major college presidents have come down to Florida to take one of those jobs? Zero. The reason is because of this, uh, the fact that they, they can't put themselves out there in the preliminary process to then be. Um, open in, in the final process. So what this bill actually does is it says if you're interested and you first apply, that is kept secret. But once the committee goes through and decides who they're actually vetting and are going to consider for the job, that is not exempt and that is out in the open. So in reality, it just it, it, it creates a, a possibility for better candidates. Last question regarding this. Do you want the job? I mean, I, you've been rumored to be wanting the job of president of Miami-Dade College. Do you want it? Would you? Are you ruling it out? The, I am ruling it out. It, I'm honored that I'm that I'm considered and that people have brought it up, but the, I've, I've said this to political and other outlets is I'm no. not interested in the job. I'm, I'm happy in the Senate. I think I have a lot more to do in the Senate. If and, offered, you will not serve. No, I'm not If serving. nominated, you will not run. No, if I offered, you will not serve. I won't say that later in life I may not be interested in All a right. job like that. Um, <laughs> where, where should we be going on education? right now uh, listen I don't want to be the, the, the sort of our kids and our school board to have to suffer from their own success and what do I mean by that we, we don't spend enough on education it should be a lost leader uh, we, we need to triage and prioritize so we're an A district we're performing so well but Jim this morning I, I kissed my boys before they left for school I'll see them tonight maybe for 45 minutes Hopefully we'll grab something to eat together. But the teachers that are spending the majority of the day, the, the facilities, I hate to see Booker T. Washington at 46% capacity. Um, we need to appreciate the, the teacher salaries, which I hope Senator Diaz uh, will continue to focus on. But to say we're A, 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 I don't want it to suggest that we don't need more resources, that we don't need more help. Perhaps it would have been better if we were a B instead of we got 20% more on salaries and on BSA, I got, we I got, would do better. I got a very short period of time and I'm going to throw a grenade now into this. Um, there is, I've been hearing a lot of rumors that at some point in the session there's going to be an amendment to take away the airport and the seaport from control of Miami-Dade County and turn them over to an authority. I'm just wondering, in, do you believe that that would be appropriate to have, my, to have the airport and seaport moved into an independent authority and out of the control of the county commission? I'll start with you. I, I don't think we're going to see that. I, I think that uh, throughout And if the we state, did, though, would we? No, I don't. And I think that would actually violate home rule because the, the, the way Miami data is set up. Now, it has worked in other places in the state. What I do believe we may see is some statewide measures on transparency, whether it's an agency or a county governing a port or an airport. All right. I got, I, yes or no? I got to go. Would you, would you like that idea or not? No. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. We'll, we'll have more on that. Up next, the search for the giant squid, a CBS4 News special report when we return.